All right, guys, another cook for this week. The last one I did last weekend, it's all gone, so. See what I've got. I, I kind of like doing this, um, this big baking pan. Throw everything in there and just bake it three, four hours. You want to have some more? You love Daddy's cooking. You love my cooking. You love Daddy's cooking. All right, so what do I got here? I got four things of beef broth. And I got a couple of pork, boneless pork butts. So that's what? Four pounds. It's eight pounds. Got a couple of um, pork loin. One and a half pound pork loins. And I got some. You gotta have, you gotta have Charisse. It's like a Portuguese sausage, and I got some sweet sausage. I'm gonna throw all that. I'm gonna throw all that in the bottom. And I got this the beef broth. I got a thing of rice pilaf, a couple of things of petite. I got a thing of um, mushrooms. I'm gonna cut these up a little bit smaller. A thing of Brussels sprouts. Some cauliflower, broccoli. I'm gonna clean all that up. Got a bunch of these red potatoes. Bag of three pound bag of potatoes, carrots, celery, a couple of green peppers, and some onions, and all garlic and hot crushed hot peppers. Crushed chopped peppers. And that's all gonna go in the chooch, mama. Gonna throw it all in this pan, stack it all in there, cover it with some beef broth, and let it rip potato chip. Oh yeah, not not too kosher though. Definitely not too kosher. But I love I love pork. So what we'll do is we'll bake it till it's all baked, and we'll pull it all out. We'll put all the vegetables in one pan, all the meat in the other pan, and then we'll separate it in containers and, and freeze it. And I like to cover it with juice because when I put all these containers together with the meat and the potato and all the vegetables, I cover it with the juice, cover it and freeze it, and then take it out. This will last me about a week. Meals. Molly loves daddy's cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you love the meat. Especially the meat. You like the meat. You love daddy's cooking. Yeah, I know you do. You love it. Yeah, you love daddy's cooking. You want some? Well, let me cook it first. I'll give you some. Yeah. Guys, million dollar question, will it all fit in the pan? I don't know, and then plus I got the top that goes up, so I'm thinking it will. We got all the meat here. And pork pork butt shoulders. A couple of tenderloins. I like these tenderloins. That's gonna go on the bottom, and then I got the charisse that I cut up. It's like a it's like an Italian sausage. It's already pre cooked. And then um we got the Italian sausage, which is the sweet one. I got the beef broth, I got the um, rice peel off, a couple of cans of petite, diced tomatoes, green peppers, celery, onions, chopped it up in little pieces, broccoli, mushrooms, I got the carrots, cut them in half, three pounds of potatoes. Red potatoes, red skin potatoes. They're cheaper than them little round ones. And then I got the uh, Brussels sprouts. Cauliflower. I cut it all up in small pieces. And then a whole bunch of garlic and hot peppers. So we'll we'll get you we'll get you set up in the stand here and see if it all fit in there. I'm thinking it will. What do you think, Molly? Think it's gonna fit? You think it's gonna fit in there? What do you think? Think it'll fit? The house is going to be smelling good, Mama. We'll set it on 350 and let it rip. Potato chip. Might as well do it on 350 now. Get it going. It's going to take a while to cook. Yeehaw! Alright, so I got the two rows in there. I got the tenderloins. I got the charisse on the side here. I'm putting in the... Uh, Sweet sausage. There's the, there's all the meat there. Next thing we'll 
thing else we'll put on this? Potatoes, tomatoes. I'm gonna be tight. Carrots. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tight. Celery. Onions. Cauliflower. Broccoli. Peppers. Need a bigger boat, Mama. Need a bigger boat. Mushrooms. Cover it up and let it rock and roll, Mama. Yeehaw! The only thing I didn't put in there was the rice peel off. Need room. So I'm getting pretty full here with the, with the fluid, so you can see it's right up to the edge here, so that's about it. That's about all I can put in there for fluid. Steve is cooking again, y'all! Yum! Just bake it. Just bake it till it's done. It's all going to render down anyway, so hopefully I didn't put too much liquid in there. Some salt, and let it rip potato chip. So it's 9.40 now. We're going to let it cock for like four hours. Let it just rock and roll. We should be done. All well, like the pieces and stuff I cut up for the chickens. And the food process. I'll go give all that to the chickens. Put quite a bit of that in there. I'll give them all the coffee grinds too. That's what the chickens, I feed them all that stuff. They eat it all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just give him some fresh water. That's the two pump chump. These guys a bunch of bunch over here too. These are all Easter eggs. These don't seem to be eating as much. These guys usually eat more. Let's check it and see what it looks like. Woohoo! I think that's done. Let's pull all the vegetables out of there. Yeah, that's a roaster! Scooped all the vegetables into here. I'm gonna cut all the meat up. Put all the meat in another container and cut it all up so I could switch it over into containers. It's been like almost three and a half hours now and it's pretty much done. And the vegetables and we'll get all the meat in another container and get it all cut up and save all the juice. Right, so I got all the meat all pulled apart here, and, and I got all the vegetables, so it's about 50-50. So I'm going to get containers, and I'm going to, you know, separate it all, and I got a couple of things, a couple of big pitches of juice here, and once I get all the containers all separated and ready to, ready to go, I'll add the juice to the containers, and a bunch of meals for the week. Cherise, got the pork, the tenderloin, the pork roast, and um, the ling the cherise. Yum! The tenderloin's nice and tender. The pork's still a little, you know, it's not gonna be as good as the tenderloin, but it's good enough. Good enough for this neighborhood. You want some? You want you want some meat? You want some meat? I think so. Alright guys, before you put the covers on the stuff, that's what it's looking like. I probably got four meals here. Alright. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen meals. That's all the meat and the vegetables and the juice and So it's probably about 14 meals. It's probably like 10 bucks, 10 bucks a meal for that stuff to make it like that. It's not cheap, but it's definitely good eating. That's the way I like to eat right there. I'm not going to get that at no restaurant. How real working men cook series.
got some bread, bread and butter. Portuguese roll for that. Yum! There you go. A real workman cook series.